Hey YouTube, this is Camera Prepper here. Today I'm going to be going through what I mentioned in my last video about to do with the bag, uh, about the zips making a terrible amount of noise because they're, um, because I was jiggling along the, 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 the road, the footpath. So I'm going to quickly show you what I'm going to do and how I'm going to change it to, to incorporate some paracord. Okay, so I've got my uh, lovely wife as a camera lady at the moment because I'm doing all the hello <laughs> I'm doing that she said hello by the way her name's Claire um, but it's because I'm filling with all the hands and stuff so you can see up close and personal so all you need this is going to be like I'm sorry it's going to be like a how-to or um, in British terms if Americans are watching is art attack <laughs> you're gonna need some pliers some scissors preferably sharp and some needle nose pliers if anybody has done paracording, you do know how to do it anyway, so I'm speaking to the cured and a lighter. So these are off cuttings of my paracord bracelets that I make. Um, I do make quite a few, so you don't need tremendous amounts of paracord. Um, what I've done is I've taken what, the blue one, and all I've done is cut probably five inches or so off the paracord bracelet itself and I've burnt the edges on the paracord itself okay very easy not too bad and then nice bit of black paracord here I'm gonna do the same so I'll show you what on camera in case no one knows what you do um, so you just burn the edges so it works better and stuff so forgive me so you just burn the edges I'm not gonna flatten these because that's not the idea um, because I'm not making a bracelet so you don't need to worry right what I'm gonna do first before I pull it through is I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do so what you're gonna take let's move that one out of the way so you're gonna take is the small blue paracord and you're gonna loop it okay so you imagine if this was around so if we get the zip itself it was going through, let's go the other way, going through the zip, okay, so you've created the loop, okay, everybody see that, yeah, yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing, so, all you're going to do is, is you are going to loop it, so the zip part will be here, and then you're going to fold, put the black cord like this, forgive me if I'm holding it, wrong so you can't see but you're going to see it in a minute um, and then what you're going to do is what they call a cobra stitch so if I pan it down here forgive me if you see my feet as well I have cleaned them um, but what you're going to do is you're going to go you're going to loop it underneath and a cobra stitch is you go over so over the paracord itself then over again and it comes under under here okay so you see the, the flappy bit and then you go through the hole okay and all you do is you just pull it tight from there so that's the first part of the stitch okay so imagine that the the zip is there and then what you do is you continually follow the one that you started with so because I've started with this one it was originally on that side because I started with this one you're gonna do the same so you're gonna go over oh my apologies over over under okay and then again because tighten it a bit because it's there now you're going to do exactly the same so I'm going to quickly show you on the video here on how to do it so if I quickly undo it I'll see you me here again um, right what we're going to do now is going to pan down to the um, to the bag itself so you can see how we're going to do it um, this is going to be interesting because I'm going to try and do it back to front so forgive me so um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the the blue cord through the zip so if I leave it there for a minute so you can see what I've done so I've pull it through the zip itself okay so then what you do is you're going to put the black cord underneath okay so you've got it underneath here um, if um, what I might do actually is I will uh, put bring the bag around so you can see it a bit better. So give me two seconds. So if you want, yeah, I'm going to bring it around so you can see. So and if you come back down again for me, okay? 
that should be better for me. Is that okay, yeah? Yep, yep. yep cool. So you're gonna, so you've got the zip itself, the zip, and they've got the paracord there. Depending on the length you want, it doesn't matter. Um, you can do a couple of inches, but same principle what I showed you before. Uh, I always start from the right. There's no reason why you can't start from the left, but I'll start from the right. You're gonna go over, over, and then under. So, and then you've got your, your first stitch. The first stitch is the, the most complicated. And then all you do is you put it, you bring it all the way up, as far as you want. You can have it down here, there's no reason why you can't. You can have it up here, it all depends on your preference really. Again, I'm using black and blue, uh, just for pure reason, as the colour I like. Obviously, for any of the women out there, you can use pink, there's no reason. Um, I've got five children and a wife that has pink paracord bracelets. And that's another discussion, but you know. So all you're gonna do is, is you're going to do the same principle, so I'll show you again, is you're going to go over, so if I do this one, and I'll show you again, pull it tight, so same principle, I'm on this one, so you're going to go over, over, under, and then through. The Cobra stitch is the easiest stitch you can do, there's many other paracord stitches, and that was my knuckle if you heard it, my apologies, and um, there's many other stitches that you can do. Um, uh, I think it's the shark tooth one, uh, dragon's breath. I think there's one accord, and there's ones that you can do quick releases as well. I'm only going to do one or two more because that's all I need. Um, so I might do this, do one more. So same principle, over, over, under. That's all you need to remember and keep it in your head to do a paracord. I know that's about the size of all I need because it's all it is. It's for a zip, so it's just a case of going momentum up and down and stuff like that. So, so the next process, obviously. You don't want these dangly bits to, to flap around. You can do a stop knot. There's no reason why you can't um, if you're that way inclined. Um, I just, because I'm not, it's my personal use. Um, it doesn't have to be neat because um, I'm not a neat person and I probably, the wife will probably agree. Oh, yes. Um, so I'm just cutting the edges and so, there we go. So if I'm left with... I don't know, what, a couple of centimetres of paracord. And all you do then from there on, without burning your fingers, um, you're gonna, just gonna burn the edges. So, just burn the edges. And then, if you haven't got a parent no pliers, you just get the lighter and then you just push down ever so slightly, ever so gentle, onto the paracord. And I'll just do the sides and then you'll see. And without burning my fingers, I nearly burnt it. So you're going to burn it, push, and then last one, burn, oh it might be a bit more, burn, push, fantastic, that's how you do it. So, so it works brilliantly, and now this one doesn't um, jingle. Very similar, if I get Claire to pound to this thing, very similar to what uh, wine tigress have done with their zips. Um, ex instead, all they've done is they've put a, a bit of paracord over the top and they've tied a stop knot on. But I just prefer to be a little bit more fancy. So that's all they've done, and that's what I've done on on this one. So that is about me for today. So I hope you uh, enjoyed the video and I would say thank you to my wife for, for helping me with the camera work today because it hasn't worked much more easier. So until I see you again, um, please like and subscribe. Um, this is Camera Prepper out. Bye. <laughs>